Now, when importing audio files, Final Cut Pro can be a bit tricky. With the Final Cut Pro system, it wants only specific audio file types and their specific sample rate. So simply importing an MP3 from a CD won't work properly on the Final Cut Pro system. So we have to do a few things to prepare our audio files for import. So the first thing I want to do is click on my browser and go to File, Save All. Because you always, when you're leaving Final Cut Pro, you always want to make sure that you save everything properly first. Now we're not going to close out of Final Cut Pro. We're simply going to hide it. So I'm going to go to my Final Cut Pro option and go down to Hide Final Cut Pro. This simply just stores the, the program in the dock. From this point, I'm going to navigate to where I have an MP3 that I need to convert. Okay, so in my audio files folder, I have Song 32, and as you can see, its format is an MP3. So what I need to do first is open up my iTunes, and what I want to do is select on the headings by right-clicking is kind down at the bottom. That's going to tell me what file type I have. And as you can see in this iTunes library, there's all different types of files. So I'm going to drag my song 32 from my audio files folder into the iTunes. And you'll see it popped up right here as an, MP as an MPEG. So to convert it into an AIFF, which is an audio interchange file format, I'm just going to right click and go to create AIFF version. Now you can see I have song 32 listed as MPEG and as AIFF audio file. So I'm just going to drag that back into my audio file folder in my hard drive to create the AIFF version. Then I'm just going to close out of these windows and now to get back into your Final Cut Pro after hiding it, you simply go down to your dock and reselect the Final Cut Pro applications icon. Now from here I'm going to go back into my Attach Tab bin for audio and I'm ready to import this audio file. So I'm going to go right click, Import Files, and navigate back to Audio Files folder. And I want to make sure I click on the AIFF version because I didn't replace the MP3. And hit Choose. 